Hello, welcome to Alexat uh, TV. Today, considering that I saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 on Monday, um, on Friday, I'm going to talk about that, but I'm not just going to talk about that. Let's say, let's talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and also where they're heading off to with the Telltale stuff, and let's talk a bit about Avengers Infinity War. Starting off with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So this film for the UK, I'm not too sure if this was I'm not too sure if this was for everyone, but it came out on the 28th of April. And for other countries, from what I'm hearing, it's coming out on the 5th of May 2017. I know there's been tons of premieres and stuff, whatever. So I saw the film and I will give it a 9 out of 10. And the reason why I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 because there's no after credits for Avengers Infinity War. There's no like teasing it. So hopefully, hopefully we'll try and get something for Spider Man Homecoming at, and for Ragnarok. So yeah. So in this film, in the trailer, you saw there's one of the scenes when Star Lord found his dad. Which was quite nice. In the film, he ends up being a bad guy. He ends, he's a god, he is, and he's the one who also killed Star Lord's mother. And towards the end of the film, they they were fighting um, between Star Lord and Star Lord's dad, were fighting each other, and then, and then there was like a the main core of. Star Lord Stad's power got destroyed. It was like a big bang. It was so now Star Lord was half Star Lord. Star Star Lord was half human and half god. But the god part went away, so it's now just Star Lord. And then he had to sacrifice it. He did, but luckily he got saved. He did, but unfortunately another person died. So yeah. Apart from that, I think it was a funny film. Lots of good stuff. I didn't see the first one, but now I'm considering considering seeing the first one. And now also with the video game as well. Guardians of the Galaxy has been in many stuff, but now I feel like with Telltale they're going to try and tell a story that's never been told before. And bring it to life with different voice actors. I feel like the last one, the Batman one, did fantastically, but let's see how Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale. In my newest documentary, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, how it started, I talked about Avengers Infinity War a little bit. Now, Avengers Infinity War has only come out with one teaser trailer. Not really a trailer, but kind of like a first look of what's going to be happening. We've also seen photos and other little clips of like behind the scenes of it, of one of the clips being some sort of fighting one with Skylar with that witch and also another picture with Vision in it as well. I didn't know this, well I did know this but just a little fact that Jarvis is Vision or Vision is Jarvis. Jarvis is the computer guy from Iron Man He's now dry. he's now vision, so yeah, that's good. Um, so in Avengers: Infinity War, not that information, not that much information has been released. But from what we know, it's still in production. They're still doing this movie. They are, um, and they're filming in different bits of the country. They are, and um, as you know, Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers are going to be in there. And some people have been confirmed by. Chris Pratt, Robert Downey Jr., um, Chris Evans, Tom Holland, who played Spider-Man, and um, um, Thor, and some of the Guardians have also been confirmed as well. Not too sure about the blue, uh, that blue guy. I'm not so sure if he's been confirmed, so yeah. So Guardians... Avengers Infinity War is set to come out May 2018, so next May it'll be out. 
So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, this was pre-recorded because um, I, I'm not sure I'm out or not because today is a place where I go and they don't have that much Wi-Fi. The only Wi-Fi I can use is my phone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Hope I didn't spoil too much.